Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm making me and Drew a breakfast with basically what we have right now, which is like nothing, because we are headed out to buy some food. We are pretty much out of food. So I think we might go to Trader Joe's or possibly a farmer's market. We haven't like fully decided yet, but for sure gonna stop and get some coffee. This is our breakfast, a chocolate rice cake with peanut butter. Honestly, delicious. I'll give Drew the one that has more peanut butter. It's so good. It reminds me of like the Tagalong Girl Scout cookie. Phenomenal. I can't remember if I said this already, but it is Sunday. Drew's currently out in the garden, which I will show you in a minute. We have had um, a lot of garden stuff going on. You did? It's nature, you know? We did use the neem oil that people were recommending in the garden, which did help a lot. But a lot of the caterpillars grew into like very large caterpillars and some of them started to cocoon. So we have relocated those caterpillars. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but they're not welcome in our garden. Sorry. Here's your breakfast. Oh, thanks. I worked really hard on it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I was making one for myself and I was like, do you want one? He was like, sure. I'm not sure what else we're going to get up to today, but I'm going to finish eating this so I'm not eating on camera because that's probably annoying. But hi, happy Sunday. Okay, so here's the situation with the garden. Here's the update. Brace yourselves, okay? It got bad, but it's getting better. So, um, yeah. Like, it, it, it got real bad. But we got an eggplant. But we do have an eggplant. Look at her. She's coming in strong. I mean, we have the beginnings of some other ones, so it's still, things are still happening. It's okay, it's not too late. We have a little tiny baby pepper. Oh, we'll one more down here. And there looks like there's a there's few be growing in, so like, flowering. yeah, things are happening. It's just These it ones, put a little delay. Anything because the caterpillars ate the tops of them, oh. so they're not going to grow anymore. Bitches. We did lose what six tomatoes? A lot. Yeah, but we still have some. They're still there. They're still growing. It was just there was a delay. Like I said, I, we think maybe they were, came in the soil, like the caterpillar, like eggs or whatever, came in the soil that we bought because they just came up out of nowhere. But it's okay. Um, we're, we're making Basil, our way. Basil, she's got it. She got it kind of rough. <laughs> Basil got a beat up, but that's okay. Like it's she's making a rebound. And this guy, excuse me. Good morning. Is your lip stuck? Is that okay? What happened here? You got a leaf. Prince of the garden, aren't you? Yeah, wow. So that is the garden update, which is sad, but it's, I, for a second, like what, probably two days this week, we were like, it's, it's over, it's over. And now we've seen some new growth. We've seen that it's still growing and changing. So we're feeling hopeful about it. And now that they've like cocooned, Hopefully this batch of caterpillars is gone. But yeah, any advice is, is more than welcome because Drew has never really dealt with caterpillars before. He has had hornworms, which I guess are a caterpillar, like a version of it, but um, that they're ginormous, so you can just pluck them right off. But these little like baby things, and then they grew up really big, and these weren't even cocoons, were they? It was just like webbing. Like silk. Yeah, we think they're moths. Sorry if we did something wrong by moving them, but like they're they're pests in our garden. They have to go. I'm so sorry. Anyway, we're gonna head out. I have um, just had such a lazy start to the Sunday and it's been fantastic. I spent like a good hour, hour and a half on the phone with my dad and I thought I would show you my outfit before we head out. So here we have today's very sort of 90s outfit of the day. I'm wearing this bucket hat simply because my hair is dirty. Um, that's the only reason. And I'm tired of wearing the same like three trucker hats. I definitely need newer hats, but that's okay. I've got these cute little earrings on. These are from Amazon. And then my little L necklace, which was from Allison, my friend Allison, which is so sweet even though we technically bought them for ourselves you know how that story went if you saw that vlog and then i have my little old navy what is this called like a workout dress and then my thrifted flannel because i'm manifesting fall even though it isn't fall weather it is definitely hot today we're just gonna pretend with the colors and then i have on my little blazers that drew got me for my birthday and i think i look really cute and very like 90s and nostalgic cute. what's your ootd Cat you shirts. were like creeping in the corner. <laughs> Lululemon shorts. Love it. Cotton on socks. Slay. <laughs> Converse. <laughs> and then thrifted hat. The last hat. <laughs> Same <laughs> one. Love and OOTD. But yeah, anyways, I was on the phone with my dad. He's going to the freaking UK this week, like in a few days, and I'm so jealous. And he's like, come meet me over here. Like, and I'm like, I 
wish you knew how badly I want to go. So Alexa and I have been chatting about going. Drew and I have been chatting about going. There's a potential that both of those things are going to be happening, but probably not when my dad is there. But anyways, I'm going to throw on these sunglasses. We're going to get a coffee first and foremost. Oh, these need to be cleaned desperately. There goes Moo. You are very, very preciously sitting on a paper towel roll in my windowsill. So precariously, preciously, precariously. Either way, I am a little bit scared. And there is like a like an air fryer bucket full of water underneath. So I better move this camera. Anyways, all right, let's go do the, the Sunday thing. Let's go to Andante. Let's do it. Coffee taste test. Delish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Drew has a honey lavender oat milk latte. And then I just have a regular oat milk latte. Well, decaf. Boring. Mm -hmm. Lazy. Lazy. Sloppy. <laughs> TikTok things. All right. To Trader Joe's, we go. I feel kind of. Yeah, it is our new target. I feel kind of like a like chuggy person wearing this bucket hat, but. I don't care. Drew and I were actually just talking about this in the coffee shop. Like, I feel like lately I've been having these weird moments where I'm like, I don't dress like a girl in LA. Like, I don't, or I don't, and it's like, who fucking cares? Like, I'm gonna wear what I wanna wear. Anyways, okay. Let's do our thing. Oh my god, it's fall. I'm not even that much of a cinnamon person, but these things? Oh my god. I'm so happy. I love fall. It's the best time of the year. This candle is so good. If you haven't tried it, it's literally $3.99 and it's amazing. They also have pumpkin body butters, pumpkin body scrubs. Oh my god, it's so hard not to buy everything. <laughs> to just get a few things and then arguably this is like the most we've ever gotten i don't know how this happened anyways it's stuff that's like gonna last us and we're gonna freaking eat it i don't need to explain myself okay so i'll try to keep this quick because i know some of you love trader joe's hauls especially i i've gotten a lot of comments from people and dms from people who live in like canada who can't go to trader joe's or sometimes you can go like once a month if you live near i think they go to like buffalo new york and they'll like drive down for the day go to like target trader joe's and then go back up yeah. and i think people who live near like vancouver as well i guess they go to like washington or something <laughs> like they go down for the day and make like, a trip out you know of how pissed i would be if i was canadian and i drove down to trader joe's for specific items because and they didn't. They didn't have them because every time we I go know. To trader joe's. they're always out of something okay so i will try to keep this quick let me know how you feel about trader joe's hauls in the comments because i i want i like them they make me happy but i just want to make sure that we're like all in the same thing okay so Baby spinach, les petites carrots, little like colorful carrots. We thought that would be good for like, we're gonna make kind of like a roast dinner with this spatch cocked lemon rosemary chicken. People said that this is really good. It's like a whole chicken and it's just it's, it's like, spread yeah. out. oh, is that what spatch cocked I think it might be the cut. So we're gonna do that with like some mashed potatoes, roast some carrots. We got a bell pepper. I think there are two of those. We got two honey crisp apples. We got some creme fraiche. So we're gonna do a tin fish night. It's a thing on TikTok. Got some more egg bites. We got the cheddar bacon ones and the cheese spinach and kale ones. Oh, things are falling. We got some salmon and some ground turkey. We got more of the marinated meats. This time we got balsamic rosemary beef steak 
tips. Yeah, beef steak tips. We got some more of the sesame teriyaki beef skirt steak. We got more of the pesto chicken breast. These last were like weeks in the oven. It's for oh, the oven. <laughs> Put them in the oven. <laughs> in their fridge. So it's just nice to have. We got a little tiny grana padano, AKA Parmesan cheese. We got New Zealand organic sliced cheddar cheese. Thought that would be good to try on like sandwiches, wraps and stuff. We got more of this uncured apple smoked bacon. It was really good last time. It's the bacon that I burnt, by the way. I think that was the last vlog or two vlogs ago. Drew got more of his appy juice, as he calls it. <laughs> the day has finally come. Yes, I only got two. I was being respectful of like people who, you know, have been waiting. Yeah, have been waiting to like get their hands on some butternut squash, mac and cheese. This stuff is amazing. So this will be delish to have for like a lunch. Honestly, who needs like that many, you know? Okay, we got some, I don't know how to say this. Yeah, it's like a Greek um, feta kind of dip. And it has roasted red peppers and then like three different kind of cheeses. And apparently it's like delicious with veggies and pita chips and stuff. We got some smoked turkey breast for sandwiches, some garlic naan just to have in the freezer. Oh my God. We had these like a year or so ago and they were delicious. They're a sweet cinnamon filled Korean pancake and they're amazing. They just go in the freezer. We got some mashed potatoes. These are like little, um, I don't know, sticks of frozen potatoes. And then you just like either microwave it or put it on the stove or whatever. That's that's easy just to have for like emergencies. Got two more of the microwave rice because it's just, it tastes the same as like when you steam it on the stove and then it takes three minutes in the microwave. It's kind of crazy. Okay, I can't remember if we've tried these or not. Drew thinks he has like a vague memory of us trying this, but these are Trader Joe's pumpkin sticky toffee cakes, which is like, the closest thing to a sticky toffee pudding that we can get here in the US. So I don't know, we're gonna try it. I feel like we've had it before, but maybe not. I don't love that it's pumpkin flavor, but we're gonna take what we can get. I got some steamed chicken soup dumplings. I got these maple mini pancake puffs. I don't know how to say this word. If anyone is, I think these are Dutch. If anyone's Dutch and wants to let me know how to say that, please let me know. We have two bags left. Got some flour tortillas, two things of potatoes, baby Dutch yellow potatoes, two things of bananas. Drew and I have figured out the trick is we get some yellow bananas and some green ones. Here's the other bell pepper. We got some limes and some lemons. We got some baby broccoli and also baby cauliflower. Never had it before, but it's like, you know, broccolini but cauliflower. So we got both. Cause why not? We got some green beans. No. Oh, sorry. Green up beanas is how I used to say them when I was little. And now if I say it other than that, Drew's like, they're called green abinas. I'm like, oh, sorry. I got some more of these cubes, little mini cucumbers. They're the cutest things in the world. Oh, I'm here. We got this uh, yellow watermelon. I've never tried a yellow watermelon that I can recall. And we went by a little like, image that we saw going around, I think on TikTok or something that shows you like what a good watermelon is. So you wanna look out for webbing and spots, apparently. We got some strawberries, which like these are really tiny and they do kind of remind me of Harry's Berries, which is my favorite. Little strawberries from the farmer's market, but we didn't go to the farmer's market today. It was a little too late. It was just like too hot outside. So we decided to pass on that then. We got some zucchini and I promise we are almost done. We got another pet nat. We need to like, drink this more intentionally because if you saw we drank this in the last vlog we didn't even finish our one glass of wine and then we we wasted the rest of the bottles maybe when like someone comes over we'll drink that next time because we're just we just don't drink that much we got some more saturn peaches those are delicious they need to ripen up a little bit more got some spring mix for my salads we're gonna try these carolina gold barbecue chips Carolina barbecue is like much more vinegary, so that's what he's for. I prefer it. Yeah, he likes that better. We got like, I think two or three onions, three onions, uh, four, if you count the red onion. Oh yeah, let us know. <laughs> Clean the hair out, huh? Oh, yeah. How is it? Mm. You probably won't like them. It smells really good to me. It smells like salt and vinegar. Mmm. They're good. They're tasty. Approved. It has like a hand of vinegar, but then barbecue sauce. It's good. Got some more teeny tiny avocados. More teriyaki turkey jerky. Dark chocolate half coated rice cake fins. I love a rice cake with like chocolate or anything sweet like that. So that sounded good. Got some fake Ritz crackers. I wonder if they come in like 
sleeves like that. Okay, sleeve round. Cashews. Ginger candy thingies that Drew literally eats like candy. Cheese bites for salads. Rosemary garlic something croutons for salads. Oh, those are made of croissant. It's amazing. Here's our tin fish for our tin fish night. We have, I've never had any of this before, so this will be fun. Smoked trout. We might have to do this like a little, in a little bit. Smoked oysters and lightly smoked mussels. Organic unfiltered honey. Vanilla pumpkin candle. Oh my God, this smells unbelievable. Cookie butter and the speculoos cookies because we're gonna make a dessert with this. And then last but not least, a protein bar that's cookies and cream flavored. And that is our Trader Joe's haul. Hi, Luke. you wanna come say hi? He's not much of like a cat that likes to be held, so. We have a matter of seconds before this is over. Everybody. As usual, forgot to show the water. We got the same water as last week because that's really all they had. And then I also forgot to show these flowers. These are the ones that Drew picked out. So we'll see how we arrange them. It's actually a few hours later now, and we've just been sitting on the couch. Moo has been sleeping like on my chest pretty much this entire time, and it's been precious, but now we just want a little snack. So like we said, when we showed the grocery haul, we're gonna try some of this tinned fish. And I have never had, like I didn't really eat fish until like last year. It's just like, I don't know, it was one of those things where like my taste buds evolved and then I just suddenly liked it. So I've never had, well, I've had oysters. I tried one oyster one time. You guys rock. Never had a mussel, never had trout, never had any kind of canned fish at all. But we're gonna try it. We also made the grave mistake of letting Moo out on the back patio this morning, and now he has been <laughs> desperate to go out there all day long. So first I wanna try this dip. Okay. But I have seen it all over TikTok as well, and I wanna see what the vibe is. Drew got these uh, like kind of Ritz crackers, which I showed. Just dip it? Yeah. Here's the dip that we're trying, by the way. Here's what it looks like, in case you want to get your own. Cheers. Cheers. Moose said cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. So the way that we've seen people do it on TikTok is they take a little bit of creme fraiche, put it on a cracker, then put whatever kind of fish on there. Let's try the oysters first. Smoked oysters in olive oil. I'm trying, I am trying really hard lately to have just like a very open mind when it comes to food. Um, so I'm gonna just try my best here. I think I'm gonna need the, the safety cushion with like the cream fresh and the, the cracker. Here we go. Do I do, are you supposed to do a whole one? Yeah. Oh, it's big. Yeah. Is it supposed to be this big? Look at that thing. It's huge. You want a smaller one? Should we just cut it in half? No, just give me that one. Okay. Find yourself a smaller guy. Oh, I'm not even in your That's okay. camera wrap. Okay. Moo, I swear to God. Kind of has a salami or something. Smokiness, I think. Mm. Okay, not bad. Yeah. Definitely like the smokiness is kind of like salami-esque. Okay, let's try a mussel. Well, these look like Brussels sprouts. What the heck? That's what I'm gonna tell myself. I'm gonna tell myself. Okay, that <gasps> okay that's going well. I'm gonna tell myself that these are Brussels sprouts. I love when I spill fish oil all over my counter. More creme fraiche. I'm gonna do a little more this time than I did last. It literally looks like a Brussels sprout to me, like a roasted, like an oven roasted Brussels sprout. Cheers! Cheers. What is this again? Muscle. This is a, yeah. I like that. I'm gonna be honest, oysters were not for me. At least this particular kind. But the mussels are good. Really good. I really like that a lot. We will be eating more of those. What do you think? Now, for our grand finale, we have smoked trout. Oh, oh wow. it's good. big, okay. Oh my God, why am I making such a mess? I'm actually trying not to, that's... Maybe that's why you're making a mess. <laughs> Maybe. I'll make yours up for you, Thank you. <laughs> since you are preoccupied. Moo, you can't have this. You got to upset tummy. This has like little fillets in it. It smells like a can of tuna, honestly. It just has like a very canned smell. So I'll just like break off a little piece. All right, 
Grand finale. Fish. Trout. Mm. He's good. Oh. These two are the winners. Trout and mussels. I'm honestly quite proud of myself. I feel like I've gotten so much better over the last few years of like trying new things and trying to have an open mind about it. I used to be one of those people that was like, ew, ew. And I feel like you can't knock something until you try it. I probably will not be having any more of the oysters. I think Drew liked them, but the mussels and the trout, we will finish those. And this dip, unbelievable. Highly recommend. Proud of me. Look at me go. 35 and I'm finally growing up. All right, it's the next day. I look a little, <laughs> a little funny right now because my brows are completely naked. This is like how light my brows are naturally. Um, and I mean, it doesn't look that bad, but I'm on my way to go get my brows done. I haven't had them done in like months. I don't even know the last time. I wanna say like March or April, something like that. So it's definitely, um, it's definitely time. If you watched like a couple vlogs ago or maybe the last vlog, I talked about how I'm just trying to like make more appointments. I made a bunch of appointments to just kind of keep up with things like self-care stuff, beauty stuff, medical stuff. So that is what we were doing and I, I decided to get dressed today even though like I'm literally just going I've been editing on my couch I'm literally just going to this appointment and then coming home and Drew and I are gonna be watching our show tonight but yeah I've just been trying to like get dressed more and there are certain things that like I have in my closet where I'm like oh I have nowhere to wear that and it's like you could literally just wear it in your everyday life also I did something different with my hair today kind of feeling it anyways you're sitting on a pile of clothes as usual but this is my outfit for the day so I have this like cute little painted tank top this is actually I think it's hand painted I got it on sale from Lisa Says Ga, and I think it's very adorable. I got it like when I ordered a couple summer things. This skirt is from Old Navy. I love it. And then I have my little red boots on. That is today's outfit of the day. And now we're going to head out. I have about like a 20 minute drive. And this girl that does my brows does it at a couple different locations. And this was like the earliest one that I could get. And it's kind of further away. So anyways, I packed myself a little lunch and we're going to hit the road and go do these brows. I cannot wait. Oh, thank God. I am feeling so much better. It obviously like is a little bit bold at the moment because you know, when you first get them done, you have to leave the product to like set for 24 hours and the dye is always like way darker when you first do it. But then once you wash them, they're like back to normal, but ah, uh, feels so much better. I love the girl that I go to to get my brows done by the way. And I'm pretty sure she was recommended by like you guys on Instagram. I think when I first moved here, I had asked people for some recommendations on like where does everyone get their brows done their facials tattoos all that kind of stuff and honestly she's the best so if you're in the LA area and you're looking for somewhere to get your brows done highly recommend Susie at Flybrow she's just mwah. I've been going to her for like over a year now and she's incredible so now I am going to head home and Drew and I are gonna watch our show that we have become literally like obsessed with over the last like 24 hours. And all we've wanted to do all day is watch that show. And it's Hijack on Apple TV Plus. Is this a weird angle? I felt like this angle was weird too. I don't really know like where to put you. Anyway, I'm gonna head home and make some dinner, enjoy my lovely show. I can't wait to finish it. We, well, I don't know if we're gonna finish it tonight, but if we do, I'll update you in the next vlog and you know, you'll be seeing my like completed brows in the next vlog, which I'm very excited about. I probably should get out of this parking spot. I'm just parked on like a street in front of an apartment, but I just, it just feels like people want to park here. So thank you so much for hanging out with me in today's vlog. It really means a lot and I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye.